Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is my Valentine's Day look. It's very simple but very fun and I would not edgy but it's like bam, you know, because of the bright red lips. So this is basically the classic red lip look and no um, eyeshadow but I wanted eyeshadow just because, you know, it's Valentine's Day, you want a little glam. So I put a little, you know, a little shade in there and then instead of a classic red I wanted to go with the scarlet just because it pops more and it's more fun so if you want to see how I got this easy and very 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 fun look please keep watching all right so let's get into it the first thing we're gonna do as always is we're gonna put some concealer on our eyes just to get that even base For most of this look, we're going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette and to set that base, I'm going to be using the color Buttery. For my crease, I'm going to be using the color Sherbert. For my lid, to give it a little bit of shimmer, I'm going to be using the color Treasure. I wanted to add a little more to my crease, so I'm going into my Cars Vital palette and I'm using this light burgundy color, I would say it is. And then I realized it wasn't exactly what I wanted. So you're gonna see I'm gonna go over it again with the same Sherbert from the Self Made palette. For liner, I'm going to
For mascara, I'm going to be using the Clinique High Impact Mascara in black. For lashes, I'm going to be using the Iconics from House of Lashes. And this is the first time I've ever used House of Lashes lashes and I don't think I'm ever going to use another brand. First of all, they were so easy to put on and then when I put them on, they were like no other lashes I've ever put on before. I don't know if it was just because they were the Iconics or what the case was, but I fell in love with them. You can obviously see myself feeling myself once I'm done with that. Also, the Q-tip was because I ended up getting um, mascara on my eye and that was really annoying. So that was just me cleaning it up. Here I am again with the Smashbox Photo Finish for Minimizer Primer and this is going to be the last time you see it because my Soap and Glory was delivered, thank god. <laughs> For foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in Warm Beige. For concealer, I'm going to be using my favorite concealer by NARS, the Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard. This is one of those rare times where I actually feel like cream contouring. So I'm using the LA Girl Cosmetics Pro, <laughs> Pro Concealer in the color Toast. And this is me sniffing my concealer because I felt like it smelled so bad. I have about four or five of these tubes and this is the only one that smells so weird to me and I'm not sure as to why. So that contour, I'm going to be using these two colors from my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Contour Palette. And this is the Light and Medium Palette. I'm 
Now to set my concealer, I'm going in with my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the color Banana. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, I usually don't use blush, but because it's Valentine's Day, I decided to do a little something, nothing too crazy. And I'm going to my Beige Cosmetics Professional Blush Palette. For highlight, I went back into my, um, my Carly Bible Palette, and I'm using the pink highlight. For my bottom lash line, I'm just going to take that color from the self-made palette, the Sherbet, and I'm just going to smoke that out. And then you're going to see me take my Clinique Mascara, and then I'm going to put that on my bottom lashes. To line my lips, I'm going to be using the NYX Cosmetics Slide On Lip Pencil in Red Tape. And when I stopped there, it's because the pencil broke on me. And I tried to continue, but it was like cutting my lips. So you're going to see me go in and out with, the, with my sharpener. Now for the real lip color, I'm going to be using Amrezi's Liquid Lipstick in the color Brooklyn. And I decided to use this again because I wanted something to be bright and not the average dark, well not dark red, but like the average red lip. I wanted something different. And that's how I achieved this look. I hope you guys truly enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.